Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest method to relace your corset. This is great for anyone who struggles with spatial awareness or who might have trouble following my other relacing tutorials where I remove all of the lacing first and start out from scratch. This method will keep the same style of lacing in the corset. So for instance, we're starting with the regular bunny ears method and we will retain the same style in the end. This method is not going to relace your corset with inverted bunny ears or chevron lacing or anything if your corset did not start out that way. So if you're already happy with the style in which it's laced, but you just wanna trade out the shoelace with ribbon or something, this is a great strategy. For this tutorial, I'm going to be relacing the corset from the original black shoelace to this baby pink shoelace. When you get it in the mail and it's loosely tied like this, it's called a skein. The first step is to undo this and loosen it, making sure that there are no knots or tangles and it's ready to go. Next, you want to undo the knot at the bottom of the corset. If you're never going to use the old laces again, you can simply cut out the knot with scissors. That's the easiest and fastest way. But if you're going to save these laces for later, then just spend the time undoing the knot. Now you're going to attach the black lacing to the pink lacing end to end. You can do this in a couple of different ways. I don't recommend tying a knot here because it'll be difficult to pass through the grommets and it'll also be difficult to undo afterwards. The fastest and easiest way I found is to simply use a stapler. So this is skinny enough to go through the grommets and it will hold securely through our project, but it will also be easy enough to remove after we're done. Theoretically, you can tape the two ends together, but the tape might slip off halfway through this process. And now we simply start pulling the black lacing out of the grommets, pulling the pink lacing along with it. I'm gonna speed this up for you. Every so often, you'll want to pause and continue pulling a little bit more slack in the pink lacing, so that it's easy to continue pulling through the grommets. So we're halfway through here. The right side is still laced with the old black lacing, while the left side has the new pink lacing. So give yourself enough slack in the pink lacing to finish up the other half, and pull that slack right up to the top of the corset. That's the easiest way to work with it. When it's laced halfway like this, it's super easy to figure out which lacing to pull because the two sides are different colors. Okay, and now we just continue pulling down the other side. If you work cleanly, this method will also ensure that the laces don't cross over each other or tangle in a strange way. If you do get a mess of lacing and you're not really sure which direction to pull, just straighten out the laces as much as possible and try pulling in one direction. If you see the black uh, lacing come out of the grommet and the pink lacing pass through where it wasn't pink before, you know that you're going in the right direction. Once you get down to the bottom, there's a lot of black lacing, so you'll be pulling quite a bit. And we're getting to the end here. And now for the very last grommet, and this one is the most fun. And now you have successfully relaced your corset. So now all you need to do is remove the staple or the tape that you would use to connect the old lacing to the new lacing. And now find the ends of your new lacing and tie the ends into a knot to close off your loop. Now the pink lacing here did not come with aglets. That's why it's fraying here. You can snip off the frayed edges or if your laces are synthetic, you can put the ends over a lighter or a candle and melt the laces so that they stop fraying. Or you can put aglets on if you have an aglet setter and you know how to use it. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and tie the laces in a knot and make sure you give it a good tug and make sure it's a proper square knot, not a granny knot which comes loose under tension. And you're ready to go. Now when you redistribute all that slack in the lacing back into the bunny ears, you might find that one side of the lacing is a little bit longer or shorter than the other side. I have another tutorial where I explain how to easily fix this, which I'll link up in the cards. And congrats, you have successfully relaced your new corset and it's ready to wear. So I hope this tutorial has helped you to relace your corsets all by yourself without needing a relacing service or taking it to a tailor where they might charge for a simple service like this. If you have tried this method or if you use a similar method or something different, please let me know in a comment down below. And if you have any comments or questions about this, feel free to leave them down below and I'd be happy to answer your questions. 
like this video and subscribe if you want to see more quick tutorials in the future. And I will see you all next week for another review. Bye!